what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here today once again we're here with some more sons of anarchy ready season four episode three and four we're going to be doing today and i hope you guys are ready for the smoke because the smoke is here you know what they're dealing with okay and what they're up against now there's a rico case the federal government well they're trying to get catch the sons in the act you know what i'm saying like they they took out all the russians right they took out all the russians and it's crazy to see because i don't know what they're planning to do or how they're going to get out of this situation you know but as i've said before it's the, the most intriguing thing about the show right now is the relationship what is going to happen between Ty? Are is Clay and are they? You know what I'm saying? Like Clay and Gemma, are they gonna try to take out Tyra? But you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. These people will do pretty much anything to save their skin. So you can't, even though I like them as characters. At the same time, I'm scared for Tyra because even though she's, you know, now that she's about to become an old lady, will would that change their mind on how they deal with the situation? You know what I'm saying? I don't know because Jax now is backing Clay for some situation that he doesn't want to go with because now they, they, you know what I'm saying, they peddling the dope and it's not what they want and they destroying the club. I mean, there's three seasons after this one. There's three more seasons after this one. So I'm like, this is some ending season kind of stuff here in season four right now. You know, Bobby's not okay with the whole drug pushing thing. You know, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. But we're going to jump in and we will see how things turn out, of course. We're watching the show. It's a little bit more episodes this season. I think there's 16 episodes this season. No, 14. So it's like one extra episode for this season um, than, than normal. So let's go watch this, man. And I will see you guys for the review. All right, so that was episodes three and four, Sons of Anarchy, man. It's a crazy world. It's a crazy world <laughs> that they're living in. And now they're involved with the cartel. There's no backing out, and that's the thing that Bobby don't understand right now. Like, that exchange that does happen, that cemented the relationship. Ain't no getting out from the cartel now you know who that dude is he knows who you are the cartel you know what i'm saying it's no backseas you know what i'm saying like once you're in a relationship with them that's it that's it the only way out is death basically like you can't just decide oh you know we're we're done trafficking your crook your coke no <laughs> nah they don't operate like that. Once you get involved, you are involved. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't know if they're going to play on that when it comes on to the cartel. I don't know if they're going to play on that or they're going to figure out some way to get the sons out of this situation. Maybe it's a big favor that the, the Mexicans, the cartel is going to owe them. And that's going to be the option that they choose. We like, you know, we're going to stop peddling the coke. Maybe something like that will happen, but I'm not counting on it. <laughs> Let's just say that I am not counting on it, but. From what I see right now, what's going on, Piney just got some information from Tara and Tara, uh, you know, saying that, you know, John Teller was kind of afraid. He was scared when he died. We know that Clay and Gemma had something to do with it. So there was a meeting that they w that John set up to, you know what I'm saying, try to holler at the IRA and to let him know, yo, we don't want to traffic no guns or nothing like that. And to maybe come to another conclusion of something or whatever the situation is. And because Clay wanted to be in the gun business, that's the reason probably why he decided, oh, Gemma, you know, we, we go. Or, or maybe Gemma don't know. I mean, maybe Gemma don't know the extent of where things went. I don't know. 
even though it kind of seems like she does, or maybe, maybe she does, who knows, that, I wouldn't put it behind that she actually knows what happens, you know, I'm like 90% sure that Clay and Gemma planned and killed John, you know what I'm saying, even the stuff that she was saying to Piney in the hospital just kind of made it seem like she, she, she absolutely knew, you know what I'm saying? Like she, she knows, <laughs> you know? So, um, I don't think Gemma will kill Tara or whatever the situation is, but you know, Clay already kind of like threatened Piney, you know, he already threatened Piney already. Like you go against me, like, you send no message through through my wife again, I'm going to slit your throat. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, as I said, this, the whole thing that's going on with the cartel and stuff like that, it's not as intriguing as the story that's going on with finding out what, what actually happened with John and keeping that from Jax. And that part of the story is... You know what I'm saying? The whole thing with the with the Rico case against the like that was something that it, it was going to happen during this series. It's kind of like you watching like a show like um, The Shield. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, these cops are bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you think was going to happen? Like, it was going to go through the whole show. Of course, you know what I'm saying? Being cops and having to look over your shoulder. Like, that's what it is. They're all criminals. I said this in the last review. They're all criminals. Regardless of how you look at it and you may like them as a cast and characters and stuff like that. And you're like, you don't want to see, the, the, you know what I'm saying, the motor club go down or whatever the situation is. But at the end of the day, in all realism of it all, they're all criminals. And most of us would not associate with these people. <laughs> but in the context of the show... We love this family. We feel like we're a part of the motor club. And that's the thing about that's what TV does to you. It helps you to a lot of those fantasies that you have. Because, listen, I've had situations or, or times, I should say, not situations, but times when I sit down and imagine myself was like, what would I do different if I was robbing a bank or something like that? Like, I've. I've fantasized about, I would never try that shit, like, for real, for real, but I'm just saying, like, I just sit down and just wonder, you know what I'm saying, because there is that part of us, you know what I'm saying, that evil, quote-unquote, evil side that we have that wonders about these things, it's just that there's some people out there that takes the leap, we all are influenced, we all have the bad part of our conscience that, that, you know what I'm saying, speak to us and sits on our shoulder and tell us, hey, do that evil thing or do that bad thing, you know, but some people, they, you know what I'm saying, it's just, just that a part of other people that just makes that leap, you know, and whether they get caught or not, whatever the situation is, is what it is, but at the end of the day, you can't tell me you've never fantasized about doing anything bad because it's a part of us. Everybody, of no matter what, it's a part of us. Yes, as a, as a kid, no. But as an adult, as you get older, you think of doing bad things. I've shoplifted before. I'm not even going to sit here and make it seem like I've never done anything wrong. Because you know what some people make it seem like, oh, they're so perfect. They grew up. They never stole anything. They never lied. They never did anything wrong. Listen, man. It's okay. It's okay to 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 admit that stuff that we have those kind of feelings. We just don't act on it. It's just like same situations with, you know, what I'm saying when it comes on to to certain things in the world and how it is right now, we act like we don't ever think about those things. You get what I'm saying? And that's just not how it is. Like, stop lying to yourself. You know what I mean? Like, I think everybody on this and, and I think. I know everybody in this area has thought of at least one time you've thought of done thought of doing something bad to maybe a person or steal something or or something of the sort. It is what it is. It's the way that the mind works. You just don't act on it. 
You get what I'm saying? If you are acting on it, well, they just put you in a different category of people. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You want to be a criminal? <laughs> Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? And some of us actively do stuff that is wrong that I believe that it shouldn't be punishable or you shouldn't go to jail for certain things. Because I think certain things that people go to jail for is that they put people in jail for is is a little dumb. You get what I'm saying? It's a little dumb. But that's just the, 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 the society and the justice system that we live in. They deem it wrong. So it is what it is. We have to abide. You know what I'm saying? So... At the end of the day, you know, um, you know, people go to jail for the wrong things. People go to jail for the, for the right reasons. You know, that's just what the justice system is about. There are crimes in that happen in some countries that are not punishable. And then in other countries, it is. So it's like, that's just how it is. So you just got to deal with it. But in any case, man, I'm enjoying this show so much. I'm enjoying it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do two more episodes right now. I might, I don't know, take a little break and see maybe if I come, if I come back and I feel like I need, you know, I could do two more then I'll do two more. But right now I think I'm, I'm tapped out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little break. Um, and if I come back, I might do something else, but whatever. Um, but in any case, season start out pretty cool, pretty good. There's no, nothing is being amped up to the point where, you know, you know, we're not getting there, you know, we, we, you know, it's the pacing is really good right now in the show. So I'm enjoying it. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching these two episodes with me, man. I appreciate y'all and I will catch you guys later, man. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment. Peace.